That's good. Man, oh man, this is my kind of weather. About three or four days ago, we had uh, uh, some really good luck out here with yeah. some small males. Um, and so I'm hoping that we'll get into some that are still here. And uh, um, we may get lucky, maybe a couple bigger females have moved in. Now look, we're just using the typical white bass stuff, gay blades, rooster tails, white grubs, uh, anything flashy, got a little white, red color on them, and hoping for the best. And this is what mama caught her fish on the other night, okay? That ought to work. We do have a special guest on the front of the boat. Her name is Anna, and we'll see whether she claims you as father tonight, whether she catches fish or not. Uh, I hope it's not dependent on that. <laughs> hey, good for you. The skunk is out of the boat. Yep. It is a baby. And you see all those lines, how they're solid on him? Yeah. So that's a white bass. Oh, you're going to let me catch this one? I don't know if he's still on there or not. That what's that tell you? He's gonna be a small one. Well, that's what we're fishing for, but he's not the size we're looking for, is he, hon? That's a little bitty one. He knocked a fire out of it. I mean, knocked a fire out of it. He's just a baby. I know. Isn't it embarrassing? Sometimes you think you talking about your five pounder. You I thought on? I had a monster right there. I really did. See that one. She's got the hot hand. All right, Anna's, Anna's gonna show us up tonight. I'll bet you a dollar. Good job. This is the way I like to do it. I like to just troll up these creeks, and then when you start catching them, depending on what how you're doing, we'll stop and cast for them, which I think is the most fun way to catch them. It's a little one. Look at you, girl. Swing him here. Hey, the size has gone up. Sure has. I think I like these white bass the best. No, we haven't caught the big ones, but I tell you what, small ones are better than no ones. That's a good one, isn't it? My best day out here, I had a flat tire before I came out here. It was right at that critical time, should we bag it or should we go, and we decided to go, and uh, we caught you know, several five-pounders that night, some of the female hybrids that were moving up, and we just had the best time. Uh -huh. That's a little bigger fish right there. Don't uh -huh. reel them all the way to the top, though. That's almost an eater. Well, they fight, don't they? They really do. I, that's why I love them so much, is they're just, they're so much fun to catch. Smaller we were catching the other night, but I tell you, it's, uh, it's fun fishing. Oh, yeah, it's always fun to catch fish, no matter what size they are. Anna, you cannot outfish your daddy on TV. Yeah, I told her that, but she's not. These kids nowadays, no respect. Goodness gracious, honey, good job. Have you noticed how the people that aren't catching fish will cast where you cast? That's what I just did to you, isn't it? Oh, I'm trying to steal your fish. Oh, I did! <laughs> Well, we're using three different baits. Anna, you've got a white grub, and I've got a rooster tail. Mr. Farmer's fishing with a gay blade, so. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't know, I think I saw Tim catch one smaller than this. You would think they're huge when they fight. <laughs> Makes you want to get the net at first, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a little one. She caught most of the fish because that's the way it should be. She's the most talented fisherman. It happens. I'm over it. Are you over it? I will. Can I will you deal with it? it. <laughs> Next time we'll, we may cut the tail off the bait or something. <laughs> you got something that looks like a bass. Looks a lot like it. He's acting like a bass. I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, it's a bass. LMB. 
Might be a spot, I don't know. Go ahead, jump for us. That's a nice one. Well, hello there, Mr. Bass.